I'm going to provide a brief tutorial today of finding U.S. population data using the U.S. Census. Population data can be useful for a number of reasons. Sometimes it's useful in academic research and it's also useful in human services planning. So today I want to show you how you can use some easy to use tools to look up population data online at the county, city, state, and country level as well. A census is a count or a survey of a population. Sometimes this is simply counting the number of individuals, but usually it also includes counting, uh, collecting data about characteristics of these people, such as their housing status, their race, ethnicity, age, and family type. In the United States, the U.S. Census Bureau is an organization that collects this type of data. They conduct a number of censuses and surveys. The one that they're best known for is the Decennial Census of Population and Housing. So this is a large national census that occurs every 10 years. Uh, many people listening to this have probably been asked to fill out a census survey before. However, they also conduct other surveys, such as an economic survey and a survey of governments in the United States. A lot of the data that the census collects is available for free online to the public. Today I'm going to uh, look at two of these tools and show you how to use them. These are American Fact Finder and Census Quick Facts. I choose these tools because they are easy to use tools that um, many people with a little bit of practice can come to understand how to use and it doesn't require much statistical or background knowledge um, of how to work with data. There are a number of ways to find this data online. You can open up your browser and you can start by typing in US Census. You'll find the Census Bureau page and in a Google search you'll see this button that says data. You can also just go to their home page and you see up at the top bar there is um, a place where you can click on data. You can also just, if you know you want to go to uh, Census Quick Facts, you can just type in Quick Facts or you can type in American Facts Finder. And you'll be taken right to right to it. I want to start with American Fact Finder. I find American Fact Finder a little bit more challenging to use, but there's a lot more tools inside of it. So if you do go to American Fact Finder, I encourage you to play around a bit and see what's available there. I'm just going to quickly give you an overview of the different things that you can see. So you see on the main page, if you're interested in knowing something about a certain community, you can go ahead and type it in. So I'll type in Mankato, Minnesota. Now importantly, the way that we talk about towns might not be the way that those towns um, are phrased or recorded in the census. So what it will do is provide a drop down menu and it'll give you options for how this data is saved in the census. So you'll have to click one of these options and then hit go. It's giving me that warning because I've been playing on the site earlier today. So this will give you uh, some overview information with this drop down menu. Um, you can change um, which year you're looking at. Now the reason that it gives you 2010 information is because the census happens every 10 years. So there's full data sets for 2010. However, there's um, smaller surveys that occur between the two years, between each decennial census. So sometimes they have some population data for other years and often they have population estimates. So for example, here is a 2015 population estimate. So if you wanted more up-to-date information and you were comfortable with estimates, you could look at this. But if you wanted the concrete data, you would stick with 2010 population data. So this is a, just a demographic profile and overview, and if you're interested in any of these topics, you can click on them and get some more information. It will provide you um, tables with raw numbers and percentages within those numbers. You can also select um, specific information. For example, if you're interested in veterans, um, they'll have some um, facts about veterans listed. You could do more complicated searches as well using the advanced search feature. And this will let you choose um, different data sets that they have available. So you, there's topics um, that include demographic information. They have information on regions. So if you just wanted to know the context of a certain town or community, um, they also have information on race and ethnicity. Industry co codes and occupation codes provide information about businesses and, and employment. So 
For example, if you're interested in understanding things about housing, um, so perhaps uh, the safety condition characteristics of housing, you would click on that and they would tell you the different data that they have available. Currently, the issue of drinking water is something that we care a lot about. So let's take a look at this. These are the different data sets that they have available. Um, let's say that you're interested in um, plumbing, water, and sewage disposal on a national level. You could go ahead and look at that, and you could maybe compare it to different um, occupational regions. This would allow you to download the entire data set if you click on them and click download. However, if you just like to view the data, you can go ahead and click on it, and it'll send you to the charts. Once you're here, you can view this data. Um, if you wanted to print it out and you thought that there was more information here than you needed, you could always modify the table and choose here to add and remove columns. On the left-hand side, you can see where you can switch the year of data that you look at. There's a lot of information in the American Fact Finder, so if you want to use this, I encourage you to play around. Um, don't get discouraged. Click on the links, and you might find um, a lot of really neat information. Uh, the American Fact Finder is based on the following surveys listed towards the bottom of their page. My favorite tool is Census Quick Facts. So with Census Quick Facts, you can easily generate tables, charts, and sometimes even maps. So you can start either by selecting a state that you're interested in, or again, you can enter um, a region that you're interested in. So if you click on this toolbar, you'll be taken into Quick Facts. And once inside Quick Facts, you can choose a location that you want to look at. Automatically, it will populate information for the United States. And as you can see, Quick Facts provides less information than we were finding in the American Fact Finder. However, it's a lot easier to read. So there's general information about the population, and you can also refine it by selecting specific facts that you're interested in. So all the facts below are listed here. So if you're just interested in, in um, facts about civilian labor force, you could go ahead and click that and it would um, take you right to that part. So if I want to know information about Minnesota, I could simply enter that in and it automatically adds a column. This is really nice because then I can compare how Minnesota compares to the United States. Let's say I want to know more about the city in Minnesota that I live in. Again, I got that error because I didn't choose in the drop down menu Mankato City. Now something to point out here is when you get to smaller, uh, smaller geographic areas, you'll often see that for some years data is not available. Again, that's because the major census that covers the entire population only occurs every 10 years. So if you are going to compare data <clears throat> on a country to state to city level, it'll be important that when you compare data, you choose the same data point. So you wouldn't want to compare population estimates from the United States for 2015 to population estimates uh, for Mankato from 2014. So just make sure if you're comparing data that you're looking at the same data set all the way across. You can also play around with this and generate maps. Um, and you can browse through maps as well. Um, you can generate charts. And this becomes useful when you have um, a lot of different types of facts and data available. Once you have the table you want, you can easily download this information as well. So this is a good starting point for using some of the tools and the resources that the census has to offer. You can always play around on this website. There's a lot of information, including um, publications, which often includes information about uh, the population, uh, some infographics, which might have some cool things that um, have population related data on them and an entire um, tab for data. So there's a main data page um, and here you can see from data and apps you can also find the American 
Fact Finder, and Quick Fix. You can also find other interesting visualizations and tools such as the Population Clock. So there's a lot of fun stuff to do on this website and hopefully you have a good starting point to start looking at population data.